Welcome to more Story of Seasons, Trio of Towns, everybody. Okay, so what the hell am I doing out and I'm running like an idiot everywhere. Um, what was I doing last? Okay, I think I talked to you, so I need to get the hell out of here. I actually forgot, but I need to take a look at my, um, my quest. Because it's been a day since I recorded. Okay, so... What? Oh yeah, okay. Must deliver to Marco. Wait, that means I already have it. Okay, so I got it. What the hell? Ethan to Marco, and I gotta find Megan. Okay. Ethan to Marco, and then Megan. Oh, the thing is, I always forget these damn names. I haven't memorized them yet. Okay, who are you? Okay, I know your character. Actually, I already knew that. Not bad. Um, who is... Let's see. Nobody here, nobody here. Who are you? You're Brad? Screw that. Um, hey, it rhymes somewhat. Let's go up here, then. You know what's crazy? When you play so much Pokemon, and then you play this, it feels like... Oh, that's Marco. Okay, but I gotta find Ethan first. But yeah, when you play so much Pokemon, and then you play this, it feels like your character's, like, on fire, just running. Because the character runs much faster in this game. Okay, where the hell is... Who's Ethan? Okay, you're Noel. You're Wyatt. That's not you. Um... I don't know who Ethan is. Shoot, I know who Megan is, but I, I don't know who Ethan is. I completely forgot who Ethan is. How did I forget this? Beautiful singing voice. Oh my god. No, no, no. Cortez. Uh, I don't want to buy items. No, sorry. I accidentally pressed A. You know that awkward moment when you're in a shop and you accidentally press A in real life, you know, and then you... I don't want to buy stuff. Actually, never mind, that doesn't happen. What do you have again? Cinnamon and walnut. I'm just going to ignore that. Because I don't know what the hell the point of that shit is, but okay. Um, I do not know who Ethan is. Why did I forget this? What the hell? What the hell? Oh, is that you? Oh, it's you! Okay, thank you for that. Awesome. Okay, guess what? I have to go back now. God, I have to run all the freaking way back. No, no, I want to run back. Actually, it's not that far. Why am I complaining? Okay, so it's you. Yep, it's for you. The package is for you. Okay, that's it. That's like literally it. Alright, now I gotta go to Megan and deliver the, uh, the thing to her. You know, I guess that's how you make money early on, <laughs> early in this game, because crops take forever. They seriously do. Okay, yeah, so that's Frank over there, but over here is Megan, as you already know. So let's go and talk to Megan. They're all eating. Yep. Okay, and that's that. If I go over here now, it's all done. Now, I don't have to go back to the person, right? No, I don't. I think I just get paid the next day, the morning after. Um... Who are you? Anthony. A guy that has no picture, which means that you are irrelevant to the plot. Look, here's Marco fishing again. That's pretty much all there is here, though. There really isn't much else to do, unfortunately. Hello, you. Um... Yeah, I'm actually all done. I'm actually completely done here. And it's only 13... Dude, I need to find more stuff to do. Like, seriously, because I am going to run out of stuff to do way too fast. I need to find a way to repair these things so I can actually get over there, though. Charlotte. True, I should, right? The thing is, I already gave Lizette stuff for today, I think. I think so. Okay, but seriously, why is everything blocked? I kind of want an animal, but... Oh man, it's just, it costs too much. Like, am I seriously just supposed to go to bed this early every day? Because there's not much to do. Like, I'm beginning to find this out, you know, that there's just not much to do. Yeah, it's time to go to bed. Let's go to bed. Oh, 
Okay, it's a brand new day. It's a whole new day. It's a whole new world. Oh my god. That song, huh? I love that song so much. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, now when did you last? Let your heart decide. Blah, 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 blah. I forgot. Take you wonder by wonder. Blah, 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 A whole new world. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna do that. Hell no. Yeah, blah means that I just forgot, okay? Seriously, that's what it means. You guys wanna know a really funny song? I think I mentioned this in another Let's Play in the past. But, um. Under the Sea. Actually, wait, didn't I mention it in this Let's Play? Oh my god, I don't remember. Honestly, I did too many LPs that I forget. That song, Under the Sea. Oh my god. That is a sexual innuendo. At least a chorus the first time. Holy crap. You guys know this song, right? Let's see if I know this. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to sing it. I'm gonna be off key, by the way, just saying. Because that song is really hard to maintain the perfect key. I'm just saying. Alright, so. Wait, I can't even think of the first line. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, I, I know it now. Okay. The seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the things around you. Down here on the ocean floor Such wonderful things are around you What more is you looking for? You know that right, then comes the next part <clears throat> Under the sea Under the sea Darling, it's better Down where it's wetter Take it from me Up on the shore they work all day Out in the sun they slave away While we devote in full time to float And under the sea Yeah, okay, that, that right there I know it's stupid that I just sung that whole thing, but oh my god. That beginning part of the chorus is like, why would you... Under the sea, under the sea. First of all, I'm not saying under the the word sea, like S-E-A. I'm saying under the, and then imagine the letter C. Okay? Under the sea. The C, if, if you don't know what the C means as an under the letter C, that's a, um... That's a one letter implying something else. If you don't know, you're too young, but basically it's under the sea, under the sea, darling, it's better, down where it's wetter, take it from me. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? I mean, really? Like, okay, here's the thing. Aside from the whole under the sea thing with the letter C thing that I'm transferring it to, I understand the whole darling is better down where it's wetter, okay. That can probably not be in anyone in the boat. Then why... Out of all the lines, why do you say, take it from me at the end? That... That line should not be there. Even if you're telling Ariel, darling it's better down where it's wetter. Okay, but why are you saying, take it from me? Maybe you can say, hear it from me or whatever, or anything else. Anything else for that matter. Why take it from me? That's very innuendo-like, which I'm just like, what the heck? Seriously? Okay. Alright, John Wayne. Come to run some errands? Yep. Me? I'm on my way to see a friend of mine. You know what? Wait, okay, why did you wink right after you said that? Are you getting lucky tonight? Why don't you tag along too? What? No. I don't do threesomes. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You heard about how the doctor at the clinic was off on business for a while, right? Well, he finally came home just the other day. If you're ever feeling out of sorts, he's the one who'll he'll get you back on your feet. I reckon it's worth your while to go and say hello. Where? Alrighty then, this way, Shiny. Oh, wait. Oh, what's going on? Pardon me, could you hold still for a sec? Whoa, 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 are you gonna... Oh god, that looked weird. I thought you were gonna freaking make out with me, like, what the heck? Wait, what are you doing? John Wayne, you're weird. Hmm, not too dirty. I guess it'll have to do. Oh, uh... 
The dog can be kind of finicky about cleanliness and the like. Don't worry about it, come on. Ford, you in? John Wayne, Ford, oh my god. So many references, I, I mean, some of you guys will probably know that. There's a correlation between Ford and John Wayne, I'm just saying. Who am I talking about? Hmm, let's see. I'm in the middle of brainstorming right now. I am not to be disturbed unless there's a patient who requires my immediate attention. Wait quietly over there, I will get to you later. That is one cold bitch, I'm just saying. Sorry, he gets his way sometimes. How about we have a seat over on that sofa and wait? Okay, cool. Let's do that. This is the most awkward sitting I've ever seen in my life. This is ridiculous. <laughs> now then, what is it? Well, that was faster than I expected. I heard a voice other than yours. I could hardly concentrate with the two of you nattering. What, what were you talking about? Hmm. Well, isn't that a proper greeting? This guy's rude. How rude. My name is Ford, and I am the doctor of this establishment. So you are Frank's nephew, hmm? You look like a perfectly healthy young man, so I presume you're not here for my services. Yes. Passable for now, I suppose. But allow me to make one thing clear, I have no patience for slobs or ragamuffins, whatever the fuck that is. If you wish to see me, some clean and properly attired. Okay. Now, is that all? Yeah, I guess that's it. I see. Well then, off with both of you. Dismissed. I'm never coming here again. I'm just telling you that right now, John Wayne. I'm just telling you that. Like, if I have a, a limb chopped off and I need immediate attention or else I die in five minutes, I will go to some other place instead of here. I'm just saying. Way to lose a customer, Ford. You freaking cold, dirty, whatever. God damn, god damn. That was seriously one of the rudest persons in Harvest Moon history. Oh my god. Like, he's worse than gray. Gray slash blue. Jesus. And yes, I say gray slash blue because in some, he's gray, and in some, he's blue. And I'm just like, what the hell? Okay, where are the damn jobs? Give me a job, dude. I want some money. I want some moolah. Alright, so let's see. Um... Harvesting some crops? You know what? Sure, let's do this. I must do jobs to help this town prosper. Oh, it's Frank. Thanks for coming. Let's get you started with the harvesting right away. Harvest! Harvest! Wait. What? Yes, that was a facepalm. Was that seriously a job worth 110 G? Are you kidding? I mean, I'll take it, because that was the easiest thing ever, but... That thing was worth like 10 G, okay? Not 110. I'm just saying, you got ripped off, Rain. You got seriously ripped off. You should have put the poster for 10G and I would have done it and I would have been okay with that. What the hell was that? Seriously. Oh my god, okay. Alright, from Ethan to Marco yet again. From Miranda to Lizette. What? Okay. I don't have eggs. I can do these two again. Wait, but why are they the same ones again though? I'm a little bit confused. Maybe I haven't been doing them right. Maybe I do have to go back to the person again who I delivered it to, right? Okay, I'm gonna talk to Ethan. Okay, thank you for that. Let's go back now. No, oh, I can just jump. I keep forgetting. Um. Hello, Carrie. How are you doing? Okay. Let's go and talk to uh, Miranda, which is gonna be found in here. Hello, Miranda. Okay, sure. So now, now I need to find Marco and Lizette, which are actually both right here. Lizette is here. 
Yeah, so for you. Okay. I was gonna do that. And I'm also gonna go ahead and use my, um... What am I doing? Oh my god. Let's go ahead and grab a, um... This thing, because it seems like you like this. I look ridiculous holding that. There you go. No! What are you doing? Only one. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, so I'm all done here. Let me go back to Miranda just to see if I actually do need a... Let's see. No, you just delivered and that's it. Okay, I wasn't sure if you had to, like, confirm something. That's what I thought, because I was still getting paid after anyway, so I was like, that makes more sense, you know. Okay. Um... So I need to find Marco. Hopefully he's up here. He is. Yep, it's for you. Awesome. I'm gonna get some money. Some money for tomorrow. And I'm also doing so many of these jobs and that helps a lot. For like the... I guess what, getting the friendliness with this town, whatever the hell it's called. I forgot the term. It's a term, but I forgot it. And that's actually it for this day. Like, there's no, nothing else to do. Alo? Alo Vera. Hell, there's more. No, that's Horatio. Horatio. Stop saying giving up. I'm not giving up. Wait. Oh, okay. That's pretty much all there is here for this day. I guess I'll just, um, maybe I can forge a little bit, possibly. Here are some cows. What about this way? Anything? Nope. It's not fully grown, okay. I'm gonna walk around this bridge because I want to walk with style through the water. I want to look like a rich person, you know? Rich person. What correlation does- oh my god. I don't know why I said that. Can I chop this? Does it not work? It does not work. Damn it. Okay, how do I... How do I get lumber? I want to chop some lumber. Can I chop this? What the heck? I guess I can't. That's very strange. I'm just gonna go back this way then and let's see what happens. Um, okay, let's put this away. Maybe I can pick up some stuff here. I found a large nymph tree. Long tail blue. Whoa, what was that? I've seen something. What the hell? Oh. Scarabade beetle? That's pretty much all there is there, though. Um, no room for, like, cutting stuff. Chopping stuff. Seriously, what is all this? Okay, I just saw something else, didn't I? Yeah, I, dude, I totally... You found a common rose. You found a swallowtail. Ooh, the butterfly the swallowtail. Iconic Harvest Moon Butterfly, that's for sure. It's nice to see that they're still resorting back to it after all these years. Because I think it made its debut in Harvest Moon 64 back in 1999. Believe it or not. Large Cuckoo Wasp. Mint. I'm just forging like crazy people. Softwood. I just, I don't know how to chop stuff, like, it, it doesn't work. I thought it would. But it does not work. Anything here? Hard-headed cricket. And then this one, there's also nothing. Can I jump over that? I don't know. Weeds. Yeah, I actually had a comment telling me to keep the weeds, so I was like, thank you, I will keep the weeds. <laughs> Despite it looking like weeds are useless, they're actually not useless, apparently. I didn't know that, so thank you for that comment. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. 
radish, radish, whatever. Okay, that's like all there is. That's like all there is. At least I forged a shitload. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back home. I feel like I'm missing something, like... I have to unlock those places, like, there's only one bachelor and one bachelor in town so far. There, there must be more to unlocking. I got 220G. Okay. I don't know, I'll figure it out, but... I don't know, it looks... It feels strange. I mean... The funny thing is that there's not that many villagers yet. And yet it still looks a lot more lively than Skytree Village. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so... If you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate it very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone.